this is the superior part of the liver, which would be right underneath the diaphragm, and this is the inferior border of the liver. This curved shape that you see on the surface of the liver represents the fact that the abdominal compartment in which you find the liver has this curved wall, uh, and the liver, which is a, a soft organ, is pressing against this wall, and the contour of the wall is given rise to this curved surface. You can divide the liver into two lobes very easily because right over here you have a ligament which is called a falciform ligament. This is a ligament that represents the reflection of the peritoneum off the surface of the liver here and you have two folds of it on either side which then go on to the interior wall of the abdominal cavity. Right over here on the right side, this larger lobe of the liver is referred to as the right lobe, and right over here, this smaller lobe is appropriately referred to as the left lobe of the liver. This is the inferior vena cava, and this is the lumen of the inferior vena cava, and we can see a couple of hepatic veins on either side draining into the inferior vena cava. This part of the liver would be right up against the diaphragm and actually directly attached to the diaphragm. This line over here represents the peritoneum reflecting off the surface of the liver and then going and attaching onto the diaphragm. This ligament right over here, which is holding the liver against the diaphragm, is referred to as the cardiac ligament. Here is your inferior vena cava, and we have an hepatic vein here, and an hepatic vein here, draining into the inferior vena cava. Right over here, we have another part of the liver, which is referred to as a lobe. And if we look more closely at it, because of its shape, this lobe is referred to as the caudate lobe. Caudate is a word that means it's shaped like a tail. Right over here, we have the gallbladder. The gallbladder is green because usually bile is represented as being green in color, which it usually is. Notice that in between the gallbladder and the round ligament over here, there is a part of the liver that is somewhat quadrangular in shape. This is referred to as the quadrate lobe. So from this perspective, we can see the right lobe of the liver over here, the quadrate lobe, and the left lobe. The caudate lobe is not visible from this perspective.